Hi there, and welcome to today's video. Wait, let me just readjust this quickly. There, that's better. Welcome to today's video, and today I've got a question here from Alex. Alex is, um, he's never really tried to measure it, so he's got no idea what his maximum heart rate is. But his question is, the, uh, do you or can you hit your maximum heart rate on flat ground, or is that usually on only during the course of an uphill struggle? Because it feels to him that flat ground running is weirdly efficient even if it's run flat out or sprint. So the question is, if you're running efficiently on flat ground, is it possible to be able to run at absolute maximum heart rate? And the short and simple answer over there, Alex, is absolutely yes it is. But in order to be able to hit maximum heart rate, we're talking about all out sprints, hard, out of your mind hard interval sets. And the reason why most people are able to hit the heart rate so much easier with heel repeats by running uphill is simply because with the added um, exertion required for the elevation gain, means you're able to hit your heart rate, max heart rate, so much faster. So, although it's possible to hit your max heart rate while running on flat ground, as far as intervals are concerned, I remember hitting max heart rate uh, during my, my track days. We used to do um, four sets of four 300 meter repeats, where you'd run a straight, a bend, and a straight of the track, and then you'd jog so active recovery, jog the, the 100 meters back through to the 300 meter rock, then sprint the straight bend straight, and then jog the bend. You used to do four of those with a five minute break, then another four, five minute break, third set of four, five minute break, and a fourth set of four. And by the time you're getting into the fourth set of four and sprinting those 300 meters absolutely flat out, we'd be hitting maximum heart rate repeat after repeat after repeat but it takes a hell of a lot of work a hell of a lot of effort to get up to that type of level but also doing those type of repeats besides we never had the target of hitting max heart rate it's just something that happened during the course of our last set but what those type of repeats did was with that type of high turnover rate that we were running at it was that type of high turnover rate that we could incorporate into our longer distance running it's that type of running efficiency by landing forefoot to midfoot by d during the course of those 300 meter repeats that helped us feel the natural efficiency of a midfoot to forefoot uh, strike strike pattern, a midfoot to forefoot running running pattern. So that's what helped us to become more efficient runners at longer distances at slower paces. So the three. 200 meter repeat sets, hugely important on your interval days, not so much from the point of view of hitting max heart rate, but from the point of view of helping you to become a more efficient runner at your longer distances, at your longer races, and by running more efficiently, you conserve more energy, and by conserving more energy, you can run negative splits and finish stronger than how you started. So that's my take on the matter. Yes, you can hit max heart rate on flat ground. It just takes a whole lot more work than what it does by running heel repeats. Heel repeats are all about max heart rate. Flat ground repeats are all about efficiency and turnover rate. That's my take on the matter. Share any comments, questions, criticisms that you may have in the space down below. That way you help me to make these videos better for you. I also thumbs up if you like the content thumbs down if not that way i also know what to be putting out in the future also share this out amongst all your friends that way we help to keep this channel moving and gathering momentum so that we can help more people become better and more efficient runners here on the coach edit channel then last but by no means least if you're watching this on youtube down below the screen is a red subscribe button 
hit that subscribe button that's where you stay subscribed to my channel for all the new content that comes out on a day-to-day, week-to-week basis. Stay carved up for the win out there. I'll see you next time.